welcome to my cross stitching channel and I am finally back. Um, it has been over two months now since the last time I filmed. Um, yeah, today is October, Saturday, October 15th and I believe this is floss tube number 21. But yeah, it's been over two months guys. I apologize for my extended absence. Um, as if you've watched my last couple of videos, you would have known that um, my husband and I were getting married. My then fiance, now husband, were getting married. And um, we also, if you can tell, I'm in a new filming location. Um, we moved into a new apartment. So I will go a little bit more over all of what happened over the last couple of months at the end. Um, I'll stick with the stitching here at the beginning because I know that at least probably part of you, that's all, that's all you want to see. So I'm really excited to be back. I'm also a little bit nervous <laughs> when you don't do this for a while. It's, you kind of forget your groove and everything. So, and just a disclaimer, I'm, I am filming in the evening. Um, I do have a window over there, but I don't quite have the natural light I used to have in our old apartment. So I'm still playing around with the lights. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything okay. Um, and also my husband is out in the living room watching college football. So if you hear any exclamations or profanity, I am sorry. <laughs> but say lobby. So all right, so let's jump into the stitching. Uh, so I have not one, but three finishes. Three. I'm super excited um, for whatever reason. Well, the first one was just because I didn't have anything else available to stitch because it was all packed up, but I just kind of got on a finishing kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the finishes first. So the first one I finished was Let It Snow by Stitchrovia. And I'll show you what it looked like last time. Not sure if that's necessary because now you're gonna say finished but uh, mine is stitched on 18 count royal christmas blue ada uh, two over one full crosses and i switched out the white floss for b5200 but here is that finish and i'm super excited that it's done i love how it turned out if you follow me on instagram um at cross stitch and chill uh, I'll put the handle somewhere. You'll, you can always find that in my description if you ever want to go to my Instagram, but I'll maybe pop it on the screen here. Um, but you would have already seen all three of these finishes. Um, so this was the first one. And I also decided to omit the back stitching. If you saw on the, I, I should put in a mock-up photo, um, there's back stitching in it, um, kind of like connecting these free snowflakes like up like where these letters are connected by stitches it does the same thing with the snowflakes and I liked the idea of them like falling onto the town instead of them like hanging from the top which is kind of what it looked like so I left that part out but and also another <laughs> disclaimer I stopped writing things down I don't know how many days it took me to finish this. I don't know how many stitches from the last time to this time. I'm gonna be pretty uninformed that way this time around, but you'll be able to see the progress. So that was my first finish. And as I mentioned in my, I think the last video, um, I think I would like to finish this one maybe into a pillow. I think that would be cute. I'm not real creative when it comes to the finishing. It's it's not often that I actually finish things, so I don't have to think about it too much. But usually I just end up like pinning it and putting it in a frame. So we'll see what I do with that one. So that was finish number one. Finish number two is also Stitch Rovia pattern. This one is called Tequila. Mine is stitched on 18 count again, uh, light, light oatmeal Ada. Two over one full crosses. I did do the back stitching on this one because there's almost none of it. Um, yeah, I don't have any other information about it. This is what that one looks like finished. Again, I hope the lighting's okay. <laughs> but this is what it looks like now. 
absolutely adore how this turned out. I think it is so cute. It was a lot of fun to stitch. Went pretty quickly. I think it only took me maybe, because I did have some, I will have shown you what it looked like before. I did have some of it done. I had a fair bit to go. And I think it only took me about a week. That was, I was stitching quite a lot every day. I was staying up way later than I should have to keep stitching. But you know, you guys know how it is, right? You get so close to the end, you're only like 5% away. You're like, I just have to get it done. <laughs> so I do really love how that turned out. Like I said, there's just like a tiny bit of back stitching up there with the letters, which made this really nice to finish it because I really don't like back stitching a whole lot. If I'm gonna do back stitching, I'm gonna deliberately pick a pattern and know that it's got a lot of in there. So, but that is my second finish. And by the way, I really appreciate anybody. There was a few different people who reached out to see how I was doing and if I was coming back for a video and I really appreciate you guys doing that. That was really sweet. Checking up on me. <laughs> So my last finish, and due to some not so nice comments I got on Instagram about this piece when I posted it, disclaimer, there is strong profanity <laughs> in this finish. So if you don't like that, either please skip ahead or just avert your eyes. I'm not going to read it. You guys can just look at it. So this is the Video Game Sampler by Screaming Heart Design. Uh, this is a donation pattern, and I was doing it as a stitch along with Total Stitch Show, whoa, her name, just words and names are hard. Um, so I was doing it with Steph from Total Stitch Show. Um, I think she's, oh, I'm trying to remember the last time I saw it on her channel. I think she's about halfway done with hers and hers looks really good. She used like a, a real, like a solid, like charcoal gray fabric, which I thought was really pretty. Uh, mine is stitched on an 18 count, again. <laughs> That's kind of my sweet spot with Ada. Um, 18 count Barnwood Ada by Picture This Plus. And I will have shown you what it looks like, looked like before. And here is my finish. I'm so happy this one's done. My This is a gift for my husband because he's a gamer and he routinely <laughs> has days where he's playing his game and this is this is essentially what comes out of his mouth in frustration. So <laughs> he loves all the little motifs from like Mario and Pac-Man and stuff. And I love how it turned out. The colors really work well on this fabric. and I'm really happy with it. I was excited to see on my Instagram post that uh, the designer actually commented and then put this in her stories, which I thought was really cool. So, but I think this one also took me about a week or so had a fair amount of it done. I had, think I had almost three quarters of it done in my last video. So it didn't take me too long. Just had to finish up a few things up here at the top and then I moved my frame down and finished everything in the bottom corner. So but that is finish number three. And I hope I remembered all of the information. <laughs> I'm probably gonna forget some things in this video. So if you guys have any questions about anything, please feel free to comment and ask me. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> you guys ever do that? You're just like sitting admiring it, you kind of forget you're staring at it. It's really pretty. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. So I'm gonna have to actually get around to finishing, like fully finishing these. My uh, <laughs> my husband, as soon as I finished it, he's like, okay, let's go to Hobby Lobby and get a frame. And I'm like, uh, I don't think I'm quite ready to do that yet, <laughs> so but he's super excited and I'm super excited. So it's nice to finish some things. Like as most of you know, if you've watched my whip parade or you've been around for a while, um, I have a lot of really large projects and these are the smallest ones I own. I think I only have one sort of small project left now. That's another Stitchrovia pattern and the rest of, rest of what I'm doing is fairly large, so. <laughs> It is what it is, but it's nice to have some smaller finishes. Um, I honestly don't know if I will pull in very many smaller patterns into my rotation anymore. 
I don't know if it's just like, I'm just not a small pattern kind of person. I don't know, but we'll see. I tend, I've kind of, I've been building up my wish list on one, two, three stitch and stuff lately. So <laughs> we'll see what I end up with. So those are my finishes. Um, I did have one new start because I need a new start like a hole in the head. Um, <laughs> let's see, where did it go? Okay, so I had my birthday uh, since the last time. It was at the end of August. Um, and my lovely husband gave me a gift card to go get the threads for a new start. Apologize for me squeaking, I promise it's a chirp. Um, and so I started another full coverage <laughs> piece, but I have, I have a good reason, okay? Hear me out. Um, so I was showing all of my, my full coverages because I already have a bunch of 25 count, um, 25 count gridded Lugana that I can use, um, or even weave, I'm not sure if it's Lugana or not, but I already have a bunch. So I'm like, okay, well, any like fancy lady or smaller pattern or stuff that you can see the background, I'm going to have to buy new fabric. And that's generally the most expensive part of a piece, at least for me, is the fabric. And I'm like, okay, well, since I already have a bunch of this even weave that is not for any like fancy lady pattern or anything, um, I guess I'll just do another full coverage one. And I was showing all of my full coverage options to my husband and he found this one, which is A Christmas Night by Alexandra Gavrilova, I think. It's a Heaven and Earth Designs chart. Um, he he looked at it and he's like, my grandma had this picture on her wall. I don't know if it's the same one, but once he said that, and the fact that it's a Christmas pattern too, I've never done a Christmas pattern really before. Um, I tend to stay away from seasonal things because I don't, I don't like to have to take them down since I spent so much time and effort on them. So not to say that I won't do seasonal patterns, but so he, he kind of tipped it in this favor, in the favor of this one. So this is my start on a Christmas night. And this is stitched on 25 count, uh, DMC magic guide. And this is one over one full cross. I think I only got, if I'm remembering right, I think I actually did write this one down. I think I only got somewhere in the realm of a couple hundred stitches on this before I put it away. Um, I don't have a box, because I'm, I'm kind of traditional that way. I, I still do bobbins. I use a bobbin and put them all in a box and stuff. Uh, ooh, sorry, shaking it. Um, and I don't have a box for this, <laughs> so. I need to get a box for the floss and it's just, it's annoying to have to like pick through the floss in the bag cause, and I still haven't rewound like hardly any of them. So. so I didn't get very far, but I do, I am like in love. You can see there's several different, hopefully you can see shades of blue, gray, just lots and lots of blue for sure. So, but I do enjoy that one so far. Um, so that is the first, well, not the first thing. It's the, that was my new start. Um, and then we'll go through my whips. I worked on, okay, so I finished three, started one, one, two, three, four, and worked on eight whips. So 12 projects total <laughs> that we're going to go through today. So starting on my whips, we've got Pandemic by Long Dog Sampler. Samplers. Mine is stitched on a 28 count, uh, 28 count Lugana in the color Helix, I believe. The picture this plus. Sorry, it's looking a little warped. I'm trying to fix it. Um, and mine is stitched one over one full crosses with DMC color 939, which is a dark navy blue. And here is where we're at from last time. Trying to remember, I think that'll catch all of it. I worked on a decent amount of this. I did watch my last video <laughs> just to see where I was at with some of the projects. Um, not all the projects were in my last video. 
I hope that catches all of it. I honestly don't remember. Um, so I, I had finished some of the stuff in here last time, but I, I've added like these two bends. I've added all of that. I did the plant and this bird and the, I think the heart was there already, maybe. But I did this and then I think I even did, I finished up here on these like little rabbit guys and did this thing with the star. I did quite a bit on this one since last time. I did get a little, it's, I don't even know that I've gotten burnt out on anything. I was just so focused on those finishes. I just stopped working on like everything else. I have worked on Tarot Town too a couple of times. You'll, you'll see that one in a minute. Um, since I finished the video game sampler, but I did want to get back to this one. Um, I've got a couple of long dog samplers in the wings that I would really, really like to start. And I've already like picked out fabric and floss and stuff that I want to use, but <laughs> I'm trying to manage my number of whips so that like when I finish a sampler, I can add another sampler. And then when I finish a fancy lady, I can add another fancy lady. So it won't stop me buying things, but I would like to be able to keep a manageable amount of whips. So that's part of why I, I think I finished some of these because I don't like having so many projects at once. So but that is pandemic. Seems to be a crowd favorite. Most people really like this one. Uh, okay, so that was number one. Number two is Loyalty, which is another Heaven and Earth Designs chart. The artist is Sherry Gerhardt, I think is her name. Gerard Gerhardt, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> uh, this one is also 28 count. It's just a white Lugana. Um, I started this one in 10 stitch and switched it to full cross. Switched it back to full cross. Yeah, some of these like I did 10 stitch and then full cross and yeah. <laughs> I've uh, gone back and forth a couple of times on this. So. Sorry, bear with me. I'm not, <laughs> not in the groove of this anymore. Okay. So this is loyalty. I'm a wrap from last time. I honestly, <laughs> I'm kind of drawing a blank on how much of this I got done. I do feel like I did fill in a decent amount. I know I've worked more in these stripes over here. I've been filling in this yellow one and I started the black one again. I think I focused on getting like some of this stuff filled in. <laughs> this is what happens, you guys. When you go too long, you can't remember anything. I do remember filling some stuff in. I think I was trying to finish more of this background over here and then I got tired of it. So I came over and did some of the stripes. So <laughs> no idea, but you guys will be able to see the progress. I really love this one. I feel like I have a lot of, maybe you guys have noticed, I, I feel like I have a lot of patterns where it's like, the majority of the color is all in one shade. Like this one's obviously like mostly yellows. I've got my Realm of Middle Earth, which is mostly oranges. And then that Christmas night is mostly blues. Like I'm just drawn to like, I guess things with all the same color. I don't know. It does, it, I think that's why I burn out sometimes on ones like these is cause I'm like so sick of looking at the same color and why like my max color is so entertaining because I have all sorts of colors. <laughs> so, uh, so that was the second one. Third is Paris of my dreams. Another heaven and earth designs full coverage. This one, the artist is Leonid Afrimov. And as of this moment, this is the only, oh, sorry. This is on 25 count DMC magic guide. And as of right now, that's the only pattern I have or whip that I have that is uh, still tent stitch. For whatever reason, when I picked it up again, I was just really feeling it. I'm not sure why. So this is where we're at from last time. I do feel like I got a, a decent amount done on this one when I worked on it. I started um, going across the top. I was like 
So every four of these blocks usually is a page, like a, a Heaven and Earth Designs page. So like I'll start at the top here and just move over and just pick colors. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily a variation on the typewriter method that Sarah, the Stitch and Mommy does, or if that's just what she does. But I've been trying to um, just kind of pick a color and take it down, pick a color, take it down, just follow wherever it goes. So that's been fun to get some more colors in here. I was getting really tired of like these dark reds and the black and the 939 and stuff. So it's fun to get some of these brighter like blues and things. I think there's like a big patch of green. These are obviously, if you've ever looked at uh, his artwork, um, the backgrounds are always very abstract, very like sporadic colors like these. But I do really enjoy it. It's turning out really pretty. I'd like to get back to this one soon. I'm just barely getting back to my full coverage, like in the last couple of days. So we'll get there. <laughs> Uh, so that was number three. Number four is Lady Justice. And I do remember working on this one a pretty significant amount. Um, I actually decided to work my way up uh, her dress and into her face. And I did get her face mostly done, I think. Or perhaps, I think I actually did her whole face, it looks like. This one's going to be a little bit tricky to, to show side by side, but we'll see what we can do. So this one is stitched. So Lady Justice from Mirabilia. I forgot to show you what it looks like. <laughs> Out of practice. So this is what it will look like when it's finished. Super pretty. I love all those greens. Green is my favorite color. So when I saw this one, I was trying to nail down a Mirabilia. I was like, yep, got to do this one. So... That is what she will look like when she is done. And I'm stitching mine on a 32 count Lugana called Evil Queen from Be Stitch Me. It's so wide I like can't fold it in any more than it already is. So I'm gonna do a close up a little bit on her face. I finally got up to her face, did the back stitching, started in on her hair, which is pretty confetti heavy because there's flowers and things. This is the entire piece so far. And I, you guys, I am, <laughs> I got my fingers crossed that I did not screw up the counting on my way up there, but I counted and I counted and I recounted on my way up. So I hope that I didn't mess it up. But I just, I wanted to get her face in so bad, so absolutely love it. I am in love with this. It looks so cool on this purple fabric. Definitely want to get back to this one too. Um, like I said, I'm not going to pull in another fancy lady until I finish this one. Um, I have a wish list of like 10 of them now. Um, I've got a couple of Mirabilia's and then I found Joan Elliott and there was a couple of hers that I really like and then I really would like the Celtic ladies from Lavender and Lace. I, I have a problem. <laughs> so, but this is Lady Justice so far. I think I worked on her for a good four days maybe, three, four days. I was just, I was addicted. I couldn't put it down. <laughs> was Lady Justice. Next was Realm of Middle Earth. This is a Tilt and Crafts chart. It is retired. And I'm doing mine one over one full cross on 28 count easy grid. Easy count. I think it's called easy count. Fabric. And uh, this is the only one that I'm doing parking right now. <laughs> so this is where we're at from last time. I'm not sure how much I got done. I don't feel like I did a ton, maybe a couple of blocks, maybe three. I had like, this was kind of sp sporadically filled in. Excuse me, sorry. Um, from when I came like all the way over from the other side. So I was filling in a lot of the, this is where most of the confetti happens is like around the border and then like the, the geographical stuff that comes in later. So I was kind of like, 
filling in spaces up here. And then when I got down here, it was much more blocky and it moved a little bit faster. So I really need to come back to this one. Um, my husband keeps telling me to come back to this one. Um, it's such a big project. This is like the equivalent of a super size uh, from Heaven and Earth Designs. This is an extra large chart. It's 154 pages. Their pages are smaller. They're only about two thirds of the size of a Heaven and Earth Design chart page would be, but still, <laughs> that's a lot of pages. So I need to get back to this one. Um, like I said, this is the only one I'm parking and I'm using the method that Jesse Marie does stuff, uses, I, I may be changing it up a bit to suit my stitching style, but overall I'm, I'm doing what she does. I do diagonal blocks this way. Looks like I got to this one and then I stopped. Looks like that's where I'm going next. Um, and then I park underneath. So like I park in columns, but I, I stitch diagonally. So. I don't know if I'll keep doing it that way. It does slow me down pretty considerably. <laughs> um, and where this has so much of the same color, it is a lot harder to go quickly in like these corners next to the border and stuff. Like I said, it, it can become kind of confetti heavy. So we'll see. But I still love this one. I am determined to finish this one in my lifetime. <laughs> I just don't know when that will be. So. That was number five. Yes. Next one I worked on was the Lovin. Another Heaven and Earth Designs full coverage chart. And the artist for this one is Adele Sessler. I'm doing this one on 28 count Lugana. One over one full cross. This is the one that I started with full cross, then I switched to 10 stitch, and now I'm back at full cross. So. I can't make up my mind, guys. I don't know if any of you have that where, like, you sometimes you just can't stitch the same way. Like, these are all Heaven and Earth designs or like big full coverage charts, and I don't stitch any of them the exact same way on the exact same fabric. I'm just all over the place. <laughs> so, this is where we are at from last time. I'm gonna hold it in a little bit. There is more down here that I was working up in his face. It's so awkward to hold sometimes. I'm not sure how much I got done on this one. I know I was working up here. I was doing that, um, picking a color at the top and running it through method still. I do like that, at least on most of my full coverages, I do tend to do that method just so that I get a, a decent switch up from block stitching to confetti stitching so I don't feel overwhelmed. But I think I got maybe a couple, few hundred, maybe 500 stitches in there. I'm not, I'm honestly not sure. Based on my last video, I, I definitely have filled in more between those hair strands right there. God, his face is so pretty. <laughs> I want to get his face done and I want to get back down here because that's the the edge of the woman's head and really like to start working on her too so but I was beloved it's funny I've been like so anti full coverage and now every single one I'm pulling out I'm like I'm gonna work on that <laughs> I may have to use my decisions wheel again soon because I'm having a hard time deciding so so that was number six number seven was Fruits of Plenty, which is the 2021 stitch along from Modern Folk Embroidery. And mine is stitched on 18 count white Ada with DMC color 820, which is a blue, royal blue, and 321, which is a bright red. I liked the idea of using patriotic colors on a sampler or some type of project eventually. So that's what I did with this one. And here is where we are at from last time. I'm actually gonna do an above and below one. This It's gonna be easier to do that. So 
So if you can see, I'm pretty sure I started this blue triangle and started some of the detail in there. And then I finished off this edge of the red and added in, I think, that middle part right there. I think I worked on this for two or three days. I think two. I don't know why I move away from this one so quickly because it, it is very relaxing and it's very easy to stitch. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in. I'm worried about the, the light blowing the colors out a little bit. Hopefully it's all right, but I do love this one. I've seen, there's a couple other people stitching this one. Um, Lindsay from Blushing Pink Stitches is doing the original colors, which are absolutely gorgeous. And then, um, who else was stitching this one? Uh, Stitching Whip It, I think is her name, the crafty. I will link her channel. I I can't remember. I think it's the Stitching Whip It. I think her name's Carol. <laughs> but she's doing one also in shades of blue, I believe, and it's it's turning out really pretty. So I just love seeing everybody's if I can find the bag. Um everybody's like variation on it. So that is mine. And then the last thing, last but not least, was Tarot Town 2. Yet another Heaven and Earth Design shirt. <laughs> also stitched on 25 count, one over one full cross on DMC Magic Guide fabric. This one, um, my other ones I bought, the newer ones I bought are cream colored and this one was on white because I didn't know any better. <laughs> this was my, this is my oldest whip. It's the very first Heaven and Earth designs I decided to try and of course I picked max color but I didn't do super size <laughs> so at least there's that but this is where we are at from last time I think I did add this up and I've done about a thousand maybe 1100 stitches total on this one um I so this is the only one that I've kind of been keeping my eye on the goal that I set for myself at the beginning of the year which as I said in my last video, I've kind of thrown most of them out the window at this point. I'm just finishing out the year doing what I want. Um, I may I may jump back in at some point, but this one I wanted to get to 35%. I pulled it back even a little bit to 33% because that's a third of the way done. Because um, uh, to get to 35, I would have had to do over almost 15,000 more stitches this year and I didn't want to push myself that hard. So. I pulled it back to 33 and that's more like 7,500, which is a lot more doable. Um, and so since most Hade pages are about 8,000 stitches and I had already started this one, I kind of had deviated over here before I, I uh, came back to, to consider my goal on it. Um, and I decided, cause I'm working on this page, it's about here-ish um, that I would just go ahead and use that goal to finish this page by the end of the year. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cause this one has variations across where I've got the sky on both sides, but they're in very different shades. And then I've got the balloon in the middle, lots of blocky stitches to break up the confetti, which is nice. Um, so in this one, I am also doing um, the typewriter method. Um, I think I've finished down to down to this line and I'm like two blocks away from the edge of the page where I'm doing a 10 by 10 square and I'm just picking a color. Um, I'll just pick a color by color in the 10 by 10 and just stitch until I run out of the stitches or I run out of my thread and then I'll go to the next symbol, next symbol. And I've done that all the way over to here. So absolutely love the blues and greens over here they're so much fun to work with this side is confetti <laughs> so much confetti but it does start looking it's because of these ropes coming off of there it causes that but that's all right the blending and the detail that comes out on the on these max color ones is like unreal so it's worth it <laughs> at least i keep telling myself that so but that is the last thing I worked on. So that is all my stitching progress. 
35 minutes later <laughs> from the last two and a half months. I really thought I would have a lot more than that, if I'm being honest. But like I said, I mean, I got three finishes, so I guess I can't be too hard on myself <laughs> about that. Um, really quickly, I will show you one pattern that I did buy on the for the Halloween sale that uh, Heaven and Earth Designs was having. Decided I've been eyeing this one for some time. Uh, this is called Wheel of the Year, and it's artwork by Bridget Ashwood. Um, Imogen X Stitch, that's their YouTube channel, uh, was stitching this one, and I liked it so much I went and bought it. So I love the like the rainbow of the wheel. And then the little motifs in the inside. And there's, I picked the no background version, which will be a nice change as well. It's not another full coverage. <laughs> so, but I did buy that one. I think it was just a couple of days ago. So that's really my only haul. I did download a couple of free patterns, but I haven't. Um, so... I'll move into more of my life stuff. Um, so if you were here just for the stitching, thank you so much for stopping by. It was really nice to be here and show you guys what I'm working on again. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, so if you're here for more of the life stuff, uh, so next week on the 21st is the first day of Stitch West, which is a cross-stitching retreat here in Utah in Salt Lake. Um, I am going with my friend Jen, her YouTube channel. You should definitely check it out because she's awesome. Um, is back, back country stitcher. Um, she does, she does kind of an eclectic mix of a lot of things. She does, um, more traditional things. Um, I'm trying to think. It's always when I try to come up with what they're working on is when I can't think of it. Um, she's done a couple of full coverages. She does have a mirabilia on the, on the go, which is turning out amazing. And she's got a couple more like smaller things that she's doing. Um, so I'm going with her and then we're meeting up with, we already have like a partially full table of people that we're sitting with, which is super exciting. Um, the inner introvert <laughs> in me is like, thank any power of the universe that I am not going to be sitting alone at this. So, um, so I'm going with her and then we've got a few other, uh, stitchy friends, uh, Renee from the Appalachian Stitcher, that's her YouTube name. And then, um... Julie from Stitching at the Cabin, I believe is what her channel name is. Julie, I swear I have one of your videos in my watch later list now. I will watch it before I meet you next week. Um, so I'm super excited for that, but I've been kind of holding off on buying things. All that to say, that's a very roundabout way of saying, I've been kind of avoiding buying stuff because I know that that retreat's coming around and I've already seen that like, under the Sea Fabrics and Top Notch Stitcher and a bunch of other vendors are going to be there and I would like to purchase some fabrics for fancy ladies and maybe for my Wheel of the Year. Um, so we'll see. But I've been holding off on, on spending anything until we get there. So I'm super excited for that. I will... I don't know if I'll take any video of that. I will probably have some pictures. Um, we'll see. I, I like to be like in the experience rather than documenting it for the most part, but I would like to at least like have some pictures and things. So anyway, so that's next week. So that's why I don't really have much haul. I've been kind of waiting for that. Um, so as I said, it's been a while. I have had my birthday at the end of August, which was fun. Um, my husband took me out for dinner and gave me that gift card and it was really fun. Um, then we got married at the beginning of September. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in some pictures while I'm talking. Um, I don't, I we don't really have like any video to show you guys or anything, but I will, I will put some pictures up. Um, it's a pretty simple ceremony. It was just us and I think maybe not even 30 other people, maybe 40 total. I, I mean, he has kind of a big family. Um, only a few, <laughs> I don't really have a lot of family that I cared to invite. Um, so it was, it was pretty small ceremony. We had it in a really pretty park um, up the canyon that's just up the road from our house. Um, 
it's really quick. It was it was beautiful. His mom officiated and it was just a very simple, wonderful ceremony. We had really good food <laughs> and we got to just kind of hang around and visit and just, it was very laid back. It was very, it was just a really wonderful day. So hopefully you guys saw some of the pictures of us dressed up and, and some of the spread and things. Um, so we did get married. That's, that's all done now, which is, <laughs> it's like a do like a bittersweet moment. Cause you're like, Oh, it's over. But then you're like, Oh my God, thank God it's over. <laughs> it's so stressful planning that. So that is over. Um, what else was I going to talk about? We moved. Like I said, we moved. Um, we only moved one city away. It was like five miles, if that, down the road. Uh, so it, it was pretty smooth. Um, we moved over most of it in one day and it kind of bled over into a couple other days. But we weren't, we didn't have to like be out super quick. So, but we are all set up here now. Um, I think we've unpacked everything, which is a miracle. Um, we had a lot more stuff than I thought we did. So we're all moved in. So that that's nice to have that out, out of the way as well. Um, another reason I think I've been kind of off with my stitching is I've been having, um, sorry if this is TMI, but um, a lot of depressive episodes. Who am I? What does it all mean? Why am I here? Blah. That kind of thing, mental health wise. So I've been very up and down the last few weeks. So I feel a little bit more stable right now. So hopefully that that continues. But um, I'm also gearing up to go back to school in January. I'm going back for a higher degree. Um, so I'm kind of like holding on to these last two and a half months where I get to to just stitch and do whatever I want after I get home from work. So. My stitching time is gonna go way down. I don't know if I'll keep doing videos after the first year or I may go down to like once a month instead of every other week. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so we're doing good. Dog's doing good. He did have an infection that we had to take him in for but he's all done with his medicine and it's looking a lot better now. So that's good. Um, yeah, same old, same old, just going to work stitching. I joined a, a weightlifting class at the gym, <laughs> which has been kicking my butt. Um, but yeah, overall, everything's doing pretty well. So I think that brings us up to now. <laughs> we should all be caught up now. So I am planning to be back. Um, probably, I think the two week schedule was was more more doable for me. So I will be back right at the end of October, right around Halloween. Um, I don't know if I'll continue to do Saturdays or if I'll go back to Sunday, but I will be back, <laughs> so. All right, guys, if you made it to this point of the video, thank you so much for sticking around and watching and, and hanging out with me for a bit. I hope you all are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I will see you next time, bye.